Hi, welcome to the week two of the fundamentals of information technology. And for this week, I'm going to discuss chapter two of the book, Computer Fundamentals, entitled Basic Computer Organization. Now, this book is written by Pradeep Sinha and Priti Sinha. In this chapter, you will learn about the basic operations performed by all types of computer systems, the basic organization of a computer system, input unit and its functions, output unit and its functions, storage unit and its functions, and the types of storage used in a computer system. You will learn also the following terms, arithmetic logic units, control units, central processing units, and lastly, we're going to discuss about computer as a system. Here, the five basic operations of a computer system. Let's discuss one by one. The first one is known as inputting. This is a process of entering data and instructions into the computer system. The second one is storing. This operation involves about saving data and instructions to make them readily available for initial or additional processing whenever required. It is followed by processing. This operation involves about performing arithmetic operations like add, subtract, multiply, divide, and other mathematical operations. In computing, there is also known as logical operations. We are going to compare values of two data by the use of equal to, less than, greater than, and many more. And it is followed by outputting. This operation is the process of producing useful information or results for the user, such as printed report or visual display. And lastly, we have here controlling. This operation is the process of directing the manner the sequence in which all of the above operations I discussed will be performed. Have a look at this diagram. It will indicate the flow of instructions and data and it will also show the control exercise by control units. We have here program and the data from the user. It will be passed through the input unit. And take note in computing, any process or program must be present in the memory of the computer. So that will be here in the storage unit. And take note of the term central processing unit. We have control unit in it, and we have arithmetic logic unit. And central processing unit is considered the brain of the computer system. And the data will be stored here, will be processed. And the processed data will go out here in the results in the form of information. So let's proceed to the main units and their functions. Let's discuss one by one. Input units. We have here the following functions. We have it accepts instructions and data from the computer user. It converts the data that had been uh, accepted into a machine readable form or a computer acceptable form. And lastly, it supplies the converted instructions and data to the computer system for further processing. That is all about the in input unit. Next is the output unit. An output unit of a computer system will perform the following functions. So we have three. It accepts the results produced by the computer, which are in coded form and sense cannot be easily understood by human beings. And the output unit will convert the coded results to human acceptable or readable form. Then it will also supply the converted results into the outside world. Storage unit. We have here the following functions. First, data and instructions required for processing. Then it will hold intermediate results of processing and final results of processing before they are released to an output device. And we have here two types of storages. We have primary and we have secondary. Let's discuss one by one. Primary storage, we have here following. Used to hold running program instructions. 
used to hold in intermediate results and results of ongoing processing of jobs. Fast in operation, and this type of storage is a small capacity, and it is expensive, and it is volatile. What does it mean? The data will be lost if power supply will be interrupted. While the secondary storage we have here, it used to hold stored programs and instructions, used to hold data and information of stored jobs, slower than primary storage, large capacity in nature, cheaper than primary storage, and data will be retained even without power supply. Let's move to the arithmetic logic units. This unit of a computer system is the place, take note of this, where the actual executions of instructions takes place during the processing of the data. Another part of the central processing units is the control units. And what is the job of the control unit? We have here, it manages and coordinates the operations of all other components of the computer system. Have a look with this. We have arithmetic logic units, we have control units, and this two will compose the central processing units. Central processing unit, just what I've told you, it is the brain of the computer system. And this part of the computer is responsible for controlling the operations of all other units in a computer system. So, system, what is this all about? A system has following three characteristics. A system has more than one element. All elements of a system, they are logically related, and all elements of a system are controlled in a manner to achieve the system goal. Therefore, we can say a computer is a system because it comprises of interrelated or integrated components like input unit, output unit, storage unit, and CPU that work together to perform the steps called for in the executing program. So that's all about topic two. And for this week, I want you to define the following words and phrases and put it in your summary notes. We have here the arithmetic logic unit, auxiliary storage, central processing unit, computer system, control unit, controlling, input interface, input unit, inputting, main memory, output interface, output unit, Outputting, primary or primate storage, processing, secondary storage, storage unit, storing, and system. Then answer my questions for your one minute to write reflection. First question, what are the salient or important thoughts you have learned today? How do you feel about them? And lastly, what are the things that are not clear to you? Answer your questions and write your answers in the Microsoft Word document and send it to my email written in your unit information guide or UIG. Thank you. Have a nice day.